Well, we're to that point where we have got to wire the outside of the trailer. And it's really pretty simple. You just have to know what it's gonna be. Uh, I'm going to go with LEDs. They still look vintage. They've got that ring around them, so they still look vintage. Those are gonna be my tail lights. Those are gonna go on the back. And I haven't made up my mind yet. Am I gonna use these side markers? Or am I going to use these side markers? I have not yet decided. I'll, I'll make that decision game time. I have some uh, reflectors. They always came with reflectors. I, I, I got them anyway. Now, the only tools that you're going to need are your wire uh, crimpers. You're going to need a Phillips head screwdriver. Black tape. That's really about all you're going to need. So... We're gonna go with a four pin connector. Four pin connector. Now, it's gonna have the white wire has to be grounded to the frame. So you're gonna to have to scrub up, get the rust, get the paint off, get down to bare metal, put a connector on it, screw that right into the frame, right up front. Now, there's four wires, they're put together though. So we're gonna split them together. Split them apart, I should say. Now, there's a green, and there's a green with a brown stripe. Then there's a yellow with a yellow, brown, yellow and a brown stripe. So, what we wanna do is the brown, whether it be yellow or green, is gonna go to the tail lights and the side markers. So that's just your running lights. It's going to your running lights. Now, the regular green is going to your right brake lights and your turn signal. The straight yellow is going to go to your left stop light, your brake light, and your turn signal. So we want to keep those separate. Now, to take the brown side, so let's say this is the brown with the green, we know that's our right side. So if I put <coughs> my tail lights in the back of the camper and my side markers right here on the side I'm going to obviously run my green and brown back here now these have it marked on the back so obviously white's always brown and the tail lights are going to be the black wire so the black wire is going to go to the brown stripe the red wire is going to be my brake lights. It's going to go to the green wire. Well, how do we get them over to here? We've got to get it to here. That brown stripe has to get over. So what we're going to do is we're going to splice in to either side of the brown. Put it, you make sure you get it covered either with black tape. Put a connector on it. However you're going to do it, make it safe. Make sure it's not going to short out. And then you run that pigtail off over to your side marker because all this is, is a running light. Your brown is your running light back to here. Running light, running light, side marker. So we're gonna work on that right now. So it's gonna look something like this, going back here. And then we're gonna take just an extra piece of something and we're gonna cut it and just run it, splice it right to there. Let's get to it. We're gonna start at the front of the trailer. We've got our four pin connector. It goes at the front because it plugs into your tow vehicle. So you've gotta leave an extra two feet approximately to give it room to go past the hitch, past the ball into the, your four pin connector on your tow vehicle. Now this one has a white ground wire, but they didn't give me very much of it. So I had to splice into it with some yellow wire that I had here in the shop. Now in 1964, this trailer had a spot for your ground wire. So I just cleaned it up a little bit. You can see here, we'll just kind of touch that up here in a little bit, but I got a uh, nice new uh, lock washer, a nice new bolt, it's clean. It's gonna uh, touch the metal, it's gonna make great contact. And that's exactly what you want for your ground wire it has to make a good connection the better the connection the less problems you're going to have shorting out and creating 
problems when you're going down the road. You want everybody to be able to see your tail lights and your running lights. That's what they're there for. And we don't want to get pulled over by the police. So just make sure that you've got that on there good and tight and make sure everything's nice and clean. All right, I have been running everything underneath the trailer, trying to keep it up as tight to the floor as I can so that it doesn't fall and get tangled up on anything and cause you any problems when you're going down the road. Now I've got my green with my red stripe, or my brown stripe that is, and I wanna bring it across here to the right side. So I'm gonna go ahead and tape it up real quick. And we're going to run the green to the right side. And then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna run the yellow over to the left side. And once we're done with that, we're gonna hook up all of our lines to our lights. We'll splice in to the brown, take it over to the side markers, and we should be ready to fire it up soon after that. So I'm gonna run this up to the lights and we're gonna be ready to go. All right, we've got it wired up. And as you can see, I decided to go with the amber lights, the one wire amber lights. I know what you're thinking, but Rob, it's one wire. It's not grounded. You have a ground wire. Well, these are a little bit different. Now these have a ground wire. So what these have different is on the inside, on one of the places that you screw it into the aluminum, it has the ground built in. So when you use a steel screw and a washer and you drive it through that opening and drive it through the aluminum, then it's grounded through the aluminum because we ground it to the frame. And that's why this one wire works. So let's go test it. Let's uh, fire up the truck and see how we did. pin wiring. I gave you the wiring diagram. I showed you where to put it, how to do it, how to make it safe. Make sure that there's no shorting going on. That's when you got to put your black tape on it. You got to put any kind of connectors that you want to put on it. But I always black tape, well, electrical tape over all of that again, just to be safe. It never hurts to double up, triple up, whatever you want to do. But go ahead, like, subscribe, hit the thumbs up for definite sure. And then go out and wire it yourself. <laughs>